Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install an AIO into that boy. So, um, bef before I do that though, I want to show you just... I, I had to um, pick it up on the way back from school here. And it was a bit tight. It was a bit tight. I had to, um, uh, un <laughs> I had to take it out of the original package um, while I was still at the post office and shove it in a bin. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to take it out of here and then pick it back up. Alright, so here it is. Today we're going to be installing the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L RGB. Um, I've only seen it with those colours though. It does say it's RGB and it's got a little rainbow thing right there. So I'm assuming that it is actually RGB. Um, but I guess we'll find out. It's not too big of a um, too big of an issue for me. I'm not too RGB set uh, based. But it would be cool if I could. Anyway, I'm going to unbox this thing. Um, I might actually set my camera up up there move all that out of the way and unbox this thing. Right, so here we are, we are at a different setup and I should probably actually grab some scissors. Um, I don't know if you can see me in this shot, I'm using my phone so um, you might not be able to see me but uh, anyway, let's start unboxing this guy. Okay, plastic wrap, it's off. <laughs> Let me put it in there. So um, uh, let's let's open this up, I guess. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this opens up. Probably from the side. Okay, here it is. These PC brands they like to open. They like to have their stuff opening from the side. Okay. Ooh. All right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't installed an I an AIO before, but I've watched a lot of videos, so I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, so see the fans here, um, RGB fans. Which, by the way. The only complaints about this AIO um, was that it, the RGB isn't the best, it's got noticeable hotspots and the fans are kind of noisy, which are, it's, isn't too big of a deal because I've got that guy right over there. Anyway, um, so looks like we got warranty information and the manual. Alright, cool, that'll be useful. Now the AIO itself. Oh. Ooh, okay, it's um... It's got a little bit of weight to it, meaning that the water is probably already in there, which is great. A lot of plastic wrap. A lot of plastic wrap. Um, also, something I want to mention, I'm not sponsored at all, <laughs> of course. Anyway, so here is the AIO itself. You can see it's got the water block. Um, please peel off label before using it. Yeah, definitely we'll do that. Um, and it's also got... Uh, what are these, I wonder? I've been using the AMD Stock Cooler for a while. Um, Wow, that's a lot of parts. <laughs> now, I'm really hoping this thing comes with thermal paste. Because I don't have any of that. Uh-oh. Yes, here we go. Thermal paste included. Awesome. <laughs> okay, now, let's double check under here. Nothing in there. Okay. So, now, um, main parts. We have the AIO itself with the water block and the radiator. Uh, we have the fans right here, which I might actually take out of their plastic wrap. Um, they've both got two headers. One for a some sort of mini Molex plug it looks like, and the other for a fan header, which I'm obviously going to plug it into the fan header. We've also got the manual here, the warranty information, as well as a whole bunch of screws and cables and stuff. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead, grab the PC, unplug everything, and bring it over here. Hopefully this little table can hold it up, I, I really hope it can. <laughs> okay, getting a bit more of a wide shot for this one, we have the PC itself. It's been a while since I've worked on this at all, so there is a lot of dust in there, but, um, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front panel off, because for once, um, it's an upgrade that requires the front panel being off. Um, normally with cable managing and stuff, it's a back panel, but thinking about it now, it's actually only the hard drive and power supply where you have to take off the back panel, isn't it? Okay, front panel is off, and, um, you might be able to see, this might fill up my PC a little bit more, because the radiator is going to go in here. Um, because there is space for a 240mm um, radiator, which is two 120mm fans. Um, and you can see here, this is the PC. It's got um, Corsair Vengeance LXP, I believe, 16GB, um, which is four 4x8 four sticks, 4x8GB um, sticks. We've got 2x8GB um, two by two by sticks, I mean. We've got the CPU cooler, which is the AMD stock cooler, that's why I'm upgrading it. And um, I decided to keep the AMD stock cooler simply because 
Um, the cooler, <laughs> the CPU I'm using at the moment, I mean, is the Ryzen 5 1600. So a little bit underpowered, um, especially for this GTX 1060 here. But um, yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to start unscrewing this. Actually, I'll take the back panel off first. And then I'm going to unscrew the CPU cooler and take it off for the first time since I assembled it about a year ago, I'd say. <laughs> okay, back panel is off. You can't really see it, but... um. Cable, you know what, I'll, I'll turn it around so you guys can see it. There it is. Um, cable management isn't the best, uh, but I tried my best, I tried my best. So um, I'm going to start, well first of all, I'm going to unplug the CPU cooler, um, which it only has one plug because it's just a simple air cooler, and I think I just pulled <laughs> some of the, yeah, I pulled some of the casing off of that. Anyway, so now I'm just going to reach in there, and you know what, I should probably lay this flat, thinking about it now. Okay, the recording cut off, I'm not sure where, but um, anyway, I've got it laying down flat now, and uh, hopefully a decent angle for this. Um, I'm going to try and look, I can't really look at the camera while I'm looking at this now, can I? Um, but pretty much, I'm going to try and unscrew it uh, bit by bit, slowly, um, just to relieve, just to get rid of um, pressure evenly. I'm not sure whether that's actually super important, but um, I think I'm just going to do it anyway, just to be careful. I took the CPU cooler off, and oh yeah, oh yeah, let's get a um, <laughs> close-up of that. That's a thermal paste right there. Um, let me try and bring the camera in. Yeah, there's a thermal paste on the cooler. There's minimal, ironically, um, because it was pre-installed onto the cooler. Um, but it's all gone over to the CPU, which is interesting. I apologize, I'm trying my best to get the best angle for this here, but anyway. So we have the AMD stock cooler taken off, and um, now I just need to clean the thermal grease that is already on there. Now because the thermal paste had mostly hardened, um, it was pretty easy to get off. I just had to get all the pieces out and I tried to do that. Um, I think I did a relatively good job. Anyway, now time to reinstall the CPU very carefully. So now I just pull the lever down, put it under, and CPU is in place. Awesome. Okay, so before I do this though, I'm going to turn the PC back upright and um, take a look at what I need to do on the back end. Okay, spinning the PC around to the back, you can see we now have this. And originally this was installed in the back um, and that was actually pre-installed. I didn't put that there. Um, and I didn't actually realize that I was pre-installed. I thought that was just, I don't, I don't actually know. I don't remember putting that in there, but maybe I did. Not entirely sure, but anyway. Um, yeah, I just, I just remember screwing my CPU cooler in and not having too much trouble with it. But um, <laughs> the AIO is going to be a little bit different, I think. So inside this bag in the bag, we've got a couple of pieces. We've got this, which I think, um, if I get that out, I think this is for Intel CPUs, um, because if, we're, if I put that up there, yeah, that's not, that's not gonna fit in any direction. So I guess I can just toss that out. Not, not really, but anyway. Um, we've also got these two pieces right here, which I believe this is what we need to use in the back for our AIO. So upon taking more out of the plastic bag, I found these things. Now, I'm not entirely sure what they're meant to be, but I'm hoping it's got something to do with installing the cooler. I mean, obviously, why else would they have them in there? Okay, so after half an eternity, I've decided that I can actually take my uh, phone off the tripod, which is right there, by the way. Um, there, there's who I was talking about earlier. Hello, Kevin. Anyway, um, after half a century, I figured out that I actually need these things to install the AIO, which is actually down there currently. Um, I need these things um, in order to install it on an AM4 socket. So I had to go searching through my motherboard stuff and this room is becoming quite a mess. But anyway, um, so now I have these installed. So now it should be hopefully, hopefully relatively easy to install the CPU water block. Before I do that, however, I'm going to have to install the fans onto the radiator. So in order to do that, I need to think about which way the radiator is actually going to go in. So it's going to be like that, and I'm thinking 
that I want to have them on this side of the radiator because there are dust filters here, meaning that um and that will that will push air through. Now there should be an arrow on here somewhere. So upon looking it up, uh, it turns out yep, I was right. It blows in through that way towards the back of the fan. So if you ever if you ever don't know which way your fans go, um, it always intakes from the side without the braces and always. Um, the fan, the air comes through into this way uh, with the braces on it. So, now it's time to install the fans on the radiator and I'll try and get a better shot of that. I just realised, not actually going to work. So I'm going to have to put it on the other side simply because, well, um, I'm not going to have anything to attach it to um, when I'm trying to mount the radiator to the thing. Because, yeah, there's nothing exactly to attach it to. So I'm going to have to flip this guy around here just like so, and install the fans on the other side. And I think, because there's dust filters there, I might have it go in like this, so it intakes through the uh, radiator here. So let's do that real quick. And there we go. So now, finally, the, um, <laughs> the fans have been installed onto the radiator, the two 120 miller, miller, I almost said milliliter, no, millimeter fans have been installed. So now, I guess we need to uh, try and install the radiator on the front here. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work with this front bit on. Whoa. Okay, I have taken the whole front of the case off. Um, that was a bit intense. Anyway, uh, looks like it was just held in by these little clampy bits right here, which um, is pretty good. So anyway, now we have the whole front of the fan, uh, the whole front of the case rather, open and I'm actually going to switch camera angles here real quick. <laughs> okay, as you can see, now the whole front of the case is open, meaning that we can now install the radiator, which I think I might go ahead and do. Now, luckily NZXT have some cable management holes right here for uh, fans for radiator, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna try and take advantage of that. So now let's try and throw these through. <laughs> Okay, so originally I was going to do some form of a time lapse for that, but um, for some reason my camera cut out. Something weird's going on there, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, we have the radiator installed now, and it's looking super, 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 super cool. Um, let me switch camera angles so you can see it from the inside. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That's looking really cool. Let me switch the light on here real quick. Look at it. Um, now all I, do, all I need to do is install the radiator, just like a so, and then we should be done. Um, so yeah, now I guess all I need to do, install the radiator, put thermal paste on, and then do some cable managing and plug everything in. As a result of all this, this PC is about 10 times heavier. Wow. Okay, anyway, now it's time to apply some thermal paste. So let's take off the cap here real quick. And now let's just get a pea-sized bit. There we go, that should be plenty, right there. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that's all the thermal paste I need. I've done this once before for a friend, but um, that's about it. So now it's time to install the cooler. Um, I'm gonna try and line this up best I can. Sorry for not the best shot here. I'm just trying to, um, really trying to line this up here real quick. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, I probably didn't show too much of that in the final, in the um, video, but that was really intense. Um, <laughs> with the thermal paste on there, you really don't have, um, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's hard, it's hard. So, but anyway, um, we have the thing installed and now these pipes are really, really long. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to loop them up through here or something, but anyway. Um, so now I'm gonna have to try and find somewhere for these cables to go. Probably um, up through here and just out through the back there somewhere, anyway. Um, I'm going to tip this back up, and there we go. Yes, I am really, really happy with this. So now it's time to um, try and run these cables out the back. Um, actually, I've just realized there's a quicker location through here that I might run them through. All right, I'm just going to cut to when it's done because there's a lot of clips of my big old head being in the way, <laughs> as well as me just sitting there reading the manual, trying to figure out how all the connections go. So, um... Here's the end product. So, I believe I have all the cables in place after maybe about 20 minutes of <laughs> just trying to get all the cables in place. Apologize for the dog. Um, so, now pretty much um, I just want to put 
the front back on to this thing because I don't need it exposed anymore. So, um, this bit goes at the top. I thought this front part would be a bit more heavy duty than it actually is. Let me check the camera angles all good. Okay, now let's chuck this guy back on. Shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. It's on the right way. Yes, it is. Alright. There we go, the front is on and there's a little hole up here, not sure if you can see that. Ah uh, yeah, you can't. There's a little hole up here which the air can go in, same on the bottom. And I've just remembered, I need to put the dust filter back in, but I might actually grab the vacuum and vacuum it off first. Dust filter has been cleaned. Now, time to reinstall it, which should be fairly simple, it's magnetic. I don't know, I'm not sure if you guys have ever built a computer before, but I'm sure you know that it's always it's always the scariest part, putting a back panel back on, um, because you don't know if all your cables are going to fit, and you just hope, hope that they do. Um, is that all? Is that on properly? Okay, looks like yes, it is. And that was fairly painless, so that was um, not too difficult whatsoever, so now time to Screw this in, put the front panel on, and then plug it in and see if it works. Oh, oh how I wish, oh how I hope it works. Okay, now for the most nerve-wracking part ever. That is to plug everything in and see if it works. Oh boy, I am absolutely terrified. But here we go. Oh. You know what, before I plug anything in other than the power, um, I should probably test I didn't switch it on, did I? Oh my. The fans are on. There's no RGB, unfortunately. I don't know how to tell if it's pumping or not. Um, I might want to actually plug in a display. That might be a good idea. <laughs> there we go. We have, you can't see it there, but we have booted to Windows. So, it's working. Um, it's just the RGBs and... The RGBs are on. So the first thing I'm going to do um, to see if it's working is open core temp and ooh, my CPU temperatures are down to the 30s, which is the first in quite a while, honestly. Oh wow, it's gone down to the 20s now at, a, at 25, 24. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so I just looked it up and it turns out people are, it, it's saying, it should be okay for 30 seconds or so in the BIOS before it overheats. So, um, considering the temperatures are at 26 degrees currently after a boot into Windows, I think that's pretty good going. So, um, yeah, I, I'd say even though the load um, is only is not on very high, I'd say that's still really, 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 really good. Really good. Um, so, yeah, that is... The pump installed. For some reason the RGB isn't working, I'm going to have to look into that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed um, this little AIO installing video. Um, if I'm going to try and get the RGB to work if I can, then um, play the clip. Okay, clearly I couldn't get it to work before I want to upload this video on Sunday. So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, whatever. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Before I end off this video, I just want to quickly say that this is, this was a strange video for me to record and edit, I'm going to be totally honest. It is totally out of the normal um, style for what I do. I, I make Minecraft videos and I just made a computer tech related video. I mean, that's, that, that's quite the contrary. I was, I was filming myself in real life. I'm usually just sitting here in front of a microphone, not worrying about the facial expressions I pull that much. Um, so it was definitely, definitely really strange to have to actually look at a camera. And, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It was, it was weird. It was definitely really weird. Anyway, um, as I said before, hope you enjoyed, like, sorry, whatever, thanks for watching, blah, blah, blah. See you guys later. Goodbye.